Testing one, two, testing one, two. What's going on, everybody? I'm Coach Gary. Hope you guys are doing all right today. I'm doing just fine. We got our first matchup coming up very, very soon. I think it's supposed to start around 7, 10, something like that. Daniel Barry Sports Highlight. What's going on, sir? Daniel Barry Sports Highlight. Always in here first. Right after my main man, Michael Smitty. What's going on, everybody? Uh, always like to start off these things. First of all, how, how are you guys doing? Hope you had a very good day today. Mine was just fine, just fine. Just finished cutting a little bit of grass outside. But anyway, let's get down to the brass tacks. That is Clemson, an ACC team, taking on... A Pac-10 team, if not the Pac-10 team, ten, number two, Arizona Wildcats. Clemson's number six, the number six seed. Um, and if we look at matchup predictor, hey, that, there's one of those uh, those percentages that I um, I never like to see that when Carolina's playing, especially if they put Carolina in the majority. Because it, the game never turns out that way. Right here, 79% uh, to Arizona, only 20.6% to Clemson. Will tell the most, uh, will tell uh, anyone that has any knowledge of basic math that at least Matcha Predictor <laughs> is predicting that Arizona will win this one easily. Uh, but like I said, whenever my team, whenever Carolina plays, it is not like that. It just, it never works out. The team e either gives them a, a a hard time or uh, the op the opponent actually wins. All right? The, the, the lower percentage team actually wins. All right? So I don't know in this one. Yes, it Arizona has been great all year. Um, Clemson, uh, it's been okay off and on. You know what I'm saying? And if you look in the, uh, down here in the standings, the ACC standings, Clemson ended up number five. I think they were higher, uh, during the year though. Slipped a bit near the end. But Arizona... We'll see if they have the Pac-10. Yeah, Arizona finished number one in their conference. If I'm not mistaken, I think they well they won the conference. I not sure if they won the, their conference tournament, but uh, they probably did. I don't know. Does it does it show me right here? It does not. And, and no big no big deal. All right. Uh, but uh, Clemson has uh, P.J. Hall, 18.5 points per game. Uh, Shefflin, uh, the big man, uh, does a great job. He's the glue, holds everything together. And Hunter has done a uh, has done an outstanding job. I think that is. Uh, I do not. Okay, we can just take a look right here. There are two hunters on that team, on Clemson's team, that, that gets that get a lot of playing time. All right, so this is Chase Hunter. Chase Hunter is the, the guy that's been doing a very good job there. 6'4", 200 pounds from Atlanta, Georgia. And then, of course, Arizona. With an ex ACC player, Caleb Love. Caleb Love, number two senior, 6'4, 205. From St. Louis, Missouri, uh, scores about 18.1 points a game, snatches down 4.9 rebounds, 3.5 assists, does it all, does it all. And he was a Carolina Tar Heel last year. Uh, 
I think some of the, the fans, even myself, we, we had it was it was mixed. It was a mixed review of uh, how people felt when he left and when he got in the transfer portal. And um, uh, some people was like good ridden. Some people were like, hey, you know why? <laughs> but uh, I was not upset. I was really not that upset. All right. So with that said, it's about time for us to get this thing started, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, Michael Smitty? Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The Sweet 16 has begun. It's going to be Arizona with the ball first. They get it down to the big man. He kicks it back out. Going back to him again. The ball's going to be deflected out of bounds, but it's going to go to Clemson. Clemson, I mean, excuse me, Arizona tried to go to Balo, couldn't handle the second pass to him. It's going to be Shefflin, gets that to Gerard. They go to PJ. They're big guys. Ball's reached. He's reached. The layup is no good. Rebound Balo out to Love. We're going to let some of this just play tonight. Love to the basket. Layup is no good. Skip pass is intercepted by Caleb Love. That was a bad pass by Clark. Love's pass, pass is now intercepted. And the layup is good on the other end by Hunter. Chase Hunter. This is Arizona with the ball. A long three by number four hits nothing. That was Boswell with the off three. There's my graphic right there. Finally. P.J. Hall kicks that ball out to Shefflin. Shefflin gets to the free throw line. His floater dies on the back of the rim and rolls in. Clemson with a four-point lead. This is Arizona with the ball now. Clemson is in a man-to-man. -man. Caleb Love. It's number 16. He kicks it out. Three-point basket, no good, but Arizona gets the rebound. Another three-point shot by the same shooter. If I'm not mistaken, that was Larson. Two missed threes out there. Boswell applying pressure to Gerard. P.J. takes a three. Rebound, Arizona is going to be Boswell. No look pass over to number 16 for the jumper. No good. Now Chase Hunter slows it down. Once again, 
Clemson in the lead, four to zero. Clark to the basket, too high off the backboard. And Keyshawn Johnson brings that ball down. Now they get it over to Larson on the left side. He's being guarded by Hunter. Ballo, back to Larson, turns down the three, gets to the free throw line. Tries to throw it into Ballo. It is taken away by Shefflin. 16.39 on the clock. Shefflin with a three goes off the mark. This is Larson. High tailing it down the court with yellow shoes on. And Caleb Love shot that from the logo in the middle of the court. He misses it. But his teammate Boswell sinks to three. Clemson's had about three empty possessions. Now they get a preset moving the ball. They have it to PJ. Now back to Hunter. Tells uh, Hall to get out of there. Shefflin comes across. Now they want to go to the big man. But instead, this is Chase Hunter. That was Clark, excuse me. Got that to Hunter with the lay on the other side. Boswell throws it down to Balo. Balo turns. He can't hit. Rebound. Chase Hall, excuse me. Rebound. Hall. And Chase Hunter slows it down under the direction of P.J. Hall. They get it to Gerard. Gerard hadn't taken a shot yet with 15-13 on the clock. This is Hunter with the ball. Bad pass, and it's going to be a turnover. Larson is going to be fouled on his way to the basket. Almost looked like a travel, but I don't think he had control of the ball. And we have our first time out. All right, thank you for the like. Whoever hit that like button, I appreciate it. Clemson Shefflin has two points. Hunter has four, and, and that is it for Arizona. Boswell with a three. Jimmy, you know who is a bucket for the Ohio women's team? 
Uh, stay tuned after this game. I will be switching my stream over to the North Carolina versus Alabama game. Alright, it's gonna be Lawson at the line for the Wildcats. He hits his first. And he misses the second. So it's gonna be Clark bringing the ball up for excuse me, that is not Clark. That is Dylan Hunter in the game now. Hunter with the ball again. Dylan Hunter, that is. Now we get it to Godfrey. Godfrey finds Dylan Hunter. That is Clark. Shefflin shoots and scores. Clemson playing well right now. Caleb Love gives it up to Keyshawn Johnson. They go down to the big man, number 14, Freebus. But he is fouled by Godfrey. Arizona turns it over again. That's still by Shefflin on the inbounds pass. They get it to Clark on the right corner. Shefflin hands it to Clark. Finds Godfrey for the short two. Excuse me, the long two. And they're going to say it was a three. Thought his foot was on the line. It was very close. Caleb Love swings it across court to Bradley. Keyshawn Johnson drives the baseline. Finds a cutting Larson for the lay. Hey, I don't care who wins this game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, technically, I don't care. I would like to see an ACC team beat a Pac-10 since they talk so much junk about how, how bad the ACC teams were, how weak they were. This is Bradley. He gets it out to Johnson after that missed shot by Clemson. Caleb Love now, step back. The jumper is off the mark and out of bounds. 13 minutes on the clock. Clemson leads 11 to six. Two people in the chat, two people in the chat. And then there was one, thank you guys for stopping by. And that one person who hit that like button, thank you for hitting the like button. All right, Clemson leading this game right now. Arizona in the man-to-man. -man. Godfrey picks up his dribble, gets it to Dylan Hunter. Hunter almost turns it over. And Chase Hunter behind the back. Jumper is no good. Rebound. Previous. He gets that to Caleb Love. Caleb Love down the field. Excuse me, down the court. Off one foot. Floater, no good. That ball goes out of bounds on Godfrey. So it's going to be Arizona ball. The Clemson Tiger. That'll be Arizona ball here. Arizona must get Caleb Love going. He is a fire starter. He's had great success in the NCAA tournament, but he's missed his first. All right, Bradley to get this one in, having a little trouble. Finally finds Larson beyond the three-point line. Larson drives to his left. He finds Caleb Love. Caleb Love gets that over to Bradley. Prevas picks up his dribble. Finds Caleb Love, a one-foot floater that was an air ball, but it was way out, away from the basket. I don't know why that wasn't just a a regular jumper. 
the shot selection was questionable. Yeah, li listen to him. It was questionable. Sometimes last year. The ball will attract to him. He'll be able to pick and choose his spots. All right, it's going to be Clemson with the ball. Chase Hunter drives deep. Gets that over to his teammate Wiggins, and he sinks the three. Now Arizona playing without Caleb Love. They may play a little bit better. Boswell kicks it. Bradley pulls up. Short jumper, no good. Rebound. Chase Hunter. 11-32 on the clock. Chase Hunter finds P.J. Hall. He goes down quickly to Godfrey. Godfrey. All the way. Hook shot is good. 16-6. 10 point lead by the Clemson Tigers over the number two Arizona Wildcats right now. Larson gets that to Bradley. Bradley immediately attacks the basket. And he's going to be fouled. And we go to another timeout. For Clemson, Shefflin, four points. Chase Hunter with four points. And off the bench, Godfrey has five to lead all scorers. And Wiggins has three. For the Arizona Wildcats, Larson and Boswell both have three points. Right now, both teams are shooting at this clip. The Clemson Tigers are shooting 53.8% from the floor, while the Arizona Wildcats are shooting 15.4. That will improve as the game goes on, but starting with a low percentage, I can tell you from going to college, <laughs> It's going to be a hard road trying to get that, that GPA, that, that shooting average, that grade point average back up high again. It can be done, but you, you've dug yourself a hole. All right. And, but even saying that, Arizona is only 10 points down. All right, it's going to be Arizona with the ball. Throwing the ball in, Larson finds Bradley. Good defense by Clemson. But Larson is open now. Good closeout. Keyson Johnson. Excuse me, that is not Johnson. Ballo with the rebound and the shot. 
He's behind Drew Timmy though, Gonzaga. Didn't play a lot. His game has emerged twice. He has been an all pack 12 performer. A lot of dribbling. A lot of dribbling on the other end there by Dylan Hunter. That ball almost got taken away. Fortunately for him, the Fishers didn't get it, but the drive sets up the help, which now allows Barlow to have a little bit more freedom on the offensive glass, and that time he was able to catch some loose change and finish it inside. He's a double-double machine is Barlow. I think that last shot by Arizona was by Lewis and it looks like Arizona is in a 2-3 defense P.J. Hall shoots over Larson he misses rebound Arizona Larson goes in the ball he is fouled early and if that is Godfrey that is number two Establish himself inside and why is he open? Because you have shooting on the perimeter, which now provides the spacing to get him some favorable one on one matchup. Hey, Bucky Licious, what's going on? Yes, ma'am. I think the game starts at about 9 30, 9 Some, some odd, well, that's an even number, but you know, it's, not, it's gonna start later and uh. Just join me if you if you would like. Clemson leads it. Clemson took down New Mexico, beat them by 21 in round one. Had an eight-point win over Baylor. That was it. All right, Clemson in the lead right now by eight points with 10 minutes and three seconds on the clock. Shifflin, Shefflin finds Gerard. He hasn't had a shot yet. Shefflin for three. Hits another one. It's going to be Boswell with the ball, hands that to Larson for Arizona, back to Boswell, they swing it to Bradley, Bradley gets in that lane, and hits the cutting number five for the slam, Lewis, Lewis off the bench making things happen, happen for the Arizona Wildcat, going to have a little stoppage of play right here, I think a foul is going to be called on Larson, well, here's a yeah, that's a good cut right there. I'll still be at work, but I'll be listening for sure. Appreciate that, Funky Lisa. We'll try to do the best we can to keep you up to date. Sweet 16 has not been kind to the Arizona program lately. Last time they made it to the Elite Eight was... Fight that ball went out of bounds on Arizona, so Clemson gets it under their basket. They get it in the Wiggins. Never moved. And hit the little short jumper. Arizona brings it down. Caleb Love back in the game again. Oh, nice pass to Barlow. It's blocked at the rim. But a rebound by Johnson, number 16, for the putback. And PJ Hall hits the ground. I think he might have got hit in the face. It's an errant arm swing. Let's see if it's his right arm that hits Hall right there. Oh man, right in the forehead. Those are the worst. PJ Hall might have been able to. No, he would have never got that rebound. But he might have. Uh, might have been able to play some defense against uh, Keyshawn Johnson. 9-10 on the clock, 9-10 on the clock. Clemson leading. There's your actual score right there. Clemson leading 21 to 12. Arizona just scores. And so it's going to be Clemson's ball. Clemson brings it down. It's knocked out of bounds by Keyshawn Johnson. You bring Ballo outside and have to play on the perimeter. Shepard, so you're taking him away. Clemson the even uh inbound it. They get it to Wiggins. Now back to Gerard, who has not taken a shot all game. 
And a traveling call is going to be called on Gerard Boswell, giving him the business out there all day. Now here's a little pressure defense, Boswell, right here. And Gerard really makes these kind of mistakes. He did drag that. He dragged that pivot foot. Or drug that pivot foot. Boswell hands that to Love. Love on the logo. At midcourt. Now he finds Boswell again. Boswell. Lawson takes a long three. It's off the mark. Hunter for the rebound. He gets up the court quickly. P.J. Hall looking for Shefflin. Gets it back out to Gerard. Gerard back to P.J. for three. It's good. And Clemson has doubled up Arizona right now, 24 to 12. Caleb Love finds Boswell. Bolo to set the screen, but Boswell turns it down. Tries to manufacture his own shot. It's off the mark. Caleb Love backs up. He's on the March Madness logo. Still out there. Drives. The floater off the glass is good. That's actually a high lay off the glass. That's going to be Caleb Love's first points. Now Clemson with the preset, trying to get it down to the big man. They finally do. P.J. Hall, spin move on Keyshawn Johnson. Throws up a wild one. Rebound, Keyshawn Johnson gets that to Love. Love finds Lawson on the basket, but it is too high. Comes off the glass, and here's Clemson. Wow, what a quick three-point shot by Wiggins for Clemson. Didn't know he had it in him. Didn't think twice about turning in and shooting that one. And that's going to take us to a break. All right, so far, Arizona find it hard to score. But there is a long game ahead. All right, with seven minutes and 16 seconds left in the first in the first half, Clemson shooting 57.9% from the field, and Arizona 28.6. That's a move up from or an increase from 14 point something there earlier. Three point shooting, uh, Clemson. They've hit five for 70. They're five of seven for 71.4. That's a little bit better than what Clemson usually shoots. Uh, it's working for them right now. Arizona, they are one of eight for 12.5. Clemson is zero for zero. Have not been to the free throw line. Arizona's been twice. They are 50%, one of two. Arizona is out rebounding Clemson right now, 14 to 10. Clemson has seven assists to Arizona's three. There's your steals, your blocks, your turnovers. Arizona, six turnovers. Clemson, three. Fast break baskets. Neither one of these teams are, are really able to get out and run against each other. Uh, Clemson, believe it or not, has two fast breaks to Arizona's one. Points in the paint go to Arizona by two points, 10 to eight. There's your fouls. And the largest lead by Clemson has been 13. which is what they have right now. Out the West, starting in Memphis, Clemson's run through New Mexico, then Baylor, 
2,300 miles from Clemson, South Carolina. They are glad to be here in LA. And what a start Clemson is off to, Jimmy. Well, the beautiful part about this Clemson team is they're older. So they're, they develop patience and understanding how to operate under pressure. The offense right now is doing this well. And they're methodically trying to pick it apart Arizona offensively, not doing too much, but that's a beautiful play coming out of the timeout for a high low action. All right, right out of the timeout. Arizona is able to run that high low. And they get it. I'm not sure who made the pass. It may have been Keyshawn Johnson went to Krivas uh, for the lay. And Clemson gets it right back. P.J. Hall with the lay-in. P.J. Hall, excellent job of sealing Johnson inside that little folding ball pass. This is Caleb Love with the screen from Krebus. He pulls up for three, short. Rebound, Gerard. He gets it out to Hunter. Hunter finds P.J. He stops and pops, but it's no good. Rebound, Krebus gets it to Boswell. Boswell dribbling, has his head up. Clark has his hand in the passing lane like you're like you're taught from uh, middle school. And we have another timeout. To rewrite history. Go places no All right, Clemson playing very well right now. Uh, six minutes and seven seconds on the clock. You you got to believe Arizona is going to have some sort of a run and make this thing a lot closer. And ironically, I say run. Uh, I don't watch Arizona that much. But to me, it seems like they may be able to push the ball. And maybe that's, that's, maybe that's what they do. Maybe that's in their DNA. If so, Clemson has slowed them completely down. Uh, makes me think of how Virginia likes to make people slow down and play their, their game. Uh, Clemson doesn't have any problem slowing the ball down. Uh, I think that type of this type of game goes or is an advantage for Clemson, if I'm not mistaken. Jason Rogers in the house. What's going on, Jason Rogers? Go Tar Heels. Yes, sir. Right after this game, you guys. We'll be we'll be getting the stream ready for the Tar Heels. I also think I'm gonna have a I'm gonna make a wardrobe a wardrobe change. <laughs> Got to put my lucky stuff on just to see just see if we can get any advantage. And see if these uh, Tar Heels can can uh, can hold back the Crimson Tide. Yeah, Michael Smith, I hope we do ball out. First thing he said, we need to have a perfect storm. Everybody on Carolina's team needs to, needs to be right and ready. Caleb Love finds Lawson to the basket. He is fouled going to the basket. 
That's going to put him on the line. I don't know. It just looks like a, a little, a, a, a different, different attitude or body language for Arizona right after this timeout. So uh, I'm looking for a run right here. That first free throw by Lawson. Lawson is good. Let's see if Arizona puts some kind of full court pressure on Clemson. Try to speed them up. And they do. You could just tell. You could just tell they were going to try something. All right, Clemson beats it pretty easily. Hunter to the basket. And look, that's why they call it a full court press. Whatever you can get. <laughs> however you can get them to turn the ball over. If it's a missed shot or whatever. That means it worked. And it did. Hunter attacked the basket. May have even been tipped a little bit by Zurich. By, excuse me, Krivas. And it ends in a slam dunk at the other end by Keyshawn Johnson. And Coach for Clemson has to call a timeout. They don't mind calling time. Well, you, you got to. Like, look, we, you can't take it with you next week. <laughs> Use all your timeouts. Stop these little runs or whatever. Let's get the score right at the top. All right, there you go. I'm good, Jason Rogers. How are you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It was, uh, you know, setting it, set in the house all last, all yesterday because it rained all day. It was supposed to rain the majority of today. It probably rained early, early this morning. And then around 2 o'clock, the beautiful sunlight came out. So two hours after that, I was able to get out there and finish cutting my grass, which is beautifully green right now, guys. You know, I take care of my yard. <laughs> it's going to stay that way through through May. Gerard finds Wiggins. Wiggins, turnaround jumper. Can't hit it. Rebound, Arizona. Bradley to the basket. He's fouled and won. I don't I just don't know what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I can just tell when a run is coming. It's going to be Bradley on the line. 22-29. And nobody is standing on that foul line to hit those free throws. They're shooting, stepping across, shooting and falling back. You need every point you can get. Shefflin gets it down to P.J. Hall. P.J. Hall with Keyshawn Johnson on him. Spins the hook shot is good. 4:48 on the clock. Bradley hands this to Caleb Love. Caleb Love attacks the basket off the glass. Is good for Caleb. 31-24. Things are heating up. The Arizona Wildcat fan base on their feet now. Shefflin hands at the Hunter. Hunter for three. It's no good. P.J. Hall going for the basket. Excuse me, going for the ball. I think it's going to be fouled by Bradley. Going into the post, what it does is slow down the pace of the game. Just where Clinton wants. It's a beautiful move, beautiful play called inside. And Caleb Love through some contact, froze. I, I think I'm going to stream North Carolina State. What a move. Another great out-of-bounds uh, play by Clemson. It's going to be Clark on the receiving end for the two. 
I want to see big, uh, big birds get busy on the blocks. Ballo swings at the love, love. Finds Bradley. Bradley gets into the paint. Layup is no good. Rebound. Hall. He gets it out. It's going to be Dylan Hunter. Finds P.J. Hall. This is Chase again. Gerard hadn't had any shots, but that's okay because his teammates are taking up for it. That's going to be a short jumper by Chase Hunter. Arizona now. Caleb Love steps out of bounds. And that ball is going to be a turnover. And we have yet another time out. COVID-19. I'm not waiting. If it's COVID, Pax Lovin. Pax Lovin is an oral treatment for adults with mild to moderate COVID-19. Shefflin for Clemson has seven points. He has two rebounds. Clark, two points. P.J. Hall with seven points, three rebounds. Hunter with six. And off the bench, Godfrey has five. And Wiggins now leading all scorers for Clemson with eight. That is 13 points off the bench for Clemson. For the Arizona Wildcats. Keyshawn Johnson, four points. He has four rebounds. Ballo with two, five rebounds. Boswell has a three-pointer. Larson has five points. Love has four. And off the bench, Crevis, Lewis, and Bradley all have three points for a total of six points off the bench. Let's check out rebounding, rebounding. It's a little closer now. Clemson with 14, Arizona with four, with 17, and the turnovers. Clemson with three, and Arizona with seven. Once again, one like, thank you. Whoever hit that like button that one time, thank you for hitting that like button. All right, right out of the timeout, Clemson with the three-point shot. Can't hit that one. Three minutes and two seconds on the clock. Larson to the basket, not stopped. High off the glass. Rebound by Ballo, and he's going to be fouled all on the play. Here. Score is 35-24. Now two minutes and 57 Arizona seconds left before halftime. Ballo misses his first. Masters Live coming away for exclusive coverage of Avon Corner. 
15 and 16, and featured groups you can watch live on the CBS Sports app. They can bring front of them seven offensive rebounds. Check this out. More than a third of their points, nine, have been from second chance points. So that's been kind of their best offense a little bit more, driving the ball, forcing the rotation. Barlow misses both, but it is tipped out to Barlow, and he is fouled by Clark. Could be part of the strategy lane. File this one away here. Barlow, such a presence inside, but Jimmy is not a very good free throw shooter. Nobody boxes out the shooter. Well, here's the thing, too, though. You gotta keep in mind if you're gonna foul Barlow, that means you're gonna increase the number of fouls you have team foul wise, which means now yep, you're gonna put uh, everybody six, for Arizona on the line. Bradley or Pella Larson to the line, or Lewis to the line, who are better free throw shooters. So, it's eight fouls. Play that game itself, too. Back to the line. Arizona in the bonus here. Misses three. misses three in a row. This time, Shefflin for Clemson comes down with the ball. Hunter still dribbling. Hasn't made a pass yet. Finally throws that one into the backcourt. And they turn over. Arizona blowing up those screens. Staying with the ball. Handler. Hunter. That was all, look, almost like a freeze out of Gerard. <laughs> yeah, past the, who hasn't taken a shot yet. This is Caleb Love. He's on the March Madness lo logo, waiting for the screen. Picks up his roll, gets it to Larson. Larson finds number five in the corner. That's going to be Lewis for three. Low pressure, and it's a turnover. Arizona gets it down the ball low for the slam dunk. Twenty-nine thirty-five. Will Clemson be able to at least hang on until halftime? They beat the press this time. Hunter finds Gerard. Gerard. Not able to shoot the ball at all, being hounded by Lewis. Can't create his Oh, nice backdoor cut by Hunter and a heck of a pass by Gerard. Bradley brings it down. And they finally get it to Larson. And an offensive foul is going to be called on Follow. And Hunter doing another excellent job of not staying married to the perimeter and cutting back door. Yeah, I hope Carolina does that tonight. Don't stay, don't stay married to the perimeter, especially when Gerard first shot. Looks like he hesitated on that one. Didn't, wasn't sure he wanted to shoot it or not. Rebound, Lawson. He's cut off on the baseline. Gets it back. To Lewis, Lewis crossover dribble, that's stripped, but he gets it back. In that lane, Balo tips it. It's gonna be Bradley. Floater to Balo for the slam dunk. 50 seconds on the clock. Clemson hanging on to a six point lead. Now Arizona in a man-to-man. -man. Shefflin takes Balo to the basket and draws a foul on Balo. That's at least two on Balo. He's got free throws coming. This is why you want experience yards. You, you, you don't see the, the front side of this, but it's the dribble right here by Jake Bradley by repositioning Balo in the middle so he can go baseline knowing that P.J. Hall... Tar Hill K, what's going on? Shefflin hits his free throw. Down the first free throw. Chef, that's your out. Clemson band. Coming up on AT&T at the half. First half analysis and update on yeah. Diego State and UConn. Plus the latest NCAA. I'm pulling for Clemson, too. But I'm pulling for them just because they're uh, ACC. And I, I got you. If Carolina can beat Alabama, 
and Clemson can beat Arizona. And this is what we'll be looking for. Uh, I don't know. I, I just I, I do think Carolina matches up better with Clemson. And if I'm not mistaken, did Clemson did beat us the last time we played, right? I think that was a that was that game Shefflin went off. I think if I'm not mistaken, so we owe him something. Keyshawn Johnson has six to shoot. He gets to the Caleb Love. Caleb Love, long three is off an air ball. And Clemson's going to survive the comeback from Arizona. It's a 31-39 game. All right, a couple of things uh, about the first half. Caleb Love is not shooting the ball well. Uh... And even a couple of times there in the first half at the beginning, uh, some of his shot selection wasn't great, but you know, they, uh, the commentator talked about that being part of his game. We, we know him from last, from last year. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. I, I just, I, I think, and I might, I might be wrong. Cause I don't know if Arizona is a run running team, uh, they got a couple of guys I think that can do it, uh, but I, I don't know if Clemson is slowing them down. Somebody can tell me if Arizona is a running team. Uh, and they're not looking like it right here. I don't know if it's just they can't run, uh, but Clemson is, has slowed it down, um, and they're playing their type of offense. Heck, Arizona may may run the same type, you know. He's got an outside shooter in Caleb Love who's not hitting it right now. But uh, Lawson's not playing bad. I think the little spark for them is um, Bradley off the bench, number zero, is uh, has come off and, and, and give them a little spark. And Lewis also. All right. Um, but anyway, let's take a look at the stats. Take this break and get this uh, get right back uh, for halftime because after that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got 20 minutes and then it is time to see if Carolina can get to the Elite Eight. All right, here we go. Shefflin ended the half with nine points. He has three rebounds. Clark with two. P.J. Hall, seven and three. Hunter has eight points. He also has three rebounds and three assists. Gerard has not scored yet. Um, I don't remember him taking one shot, but it does say he took one shot. One shot from the field. Uh, he is being locked down by Lewis, if I'm not mistaken. For Arizona, excuse me, off the bench, R.J. Godfrey has five points. Wiggins has eight. For Arizona, Keyshawn Johnson, four points, four rebounds, two assists. Balo has six points. He also has eight rebounds. Boswell, three points. Larson has five. Love has four points, one rebound, and one steal. Krivas, two points. Lewis has five. And Bradley has two. Clemson's been shooting 50% plus since the game began. They're now at 53.3. Arizona, uh, on our first time out, started shooting at 14 percent now they're up to 40.6 you knew they were going to make some type of run three-point shooting arizona 18 percent uh clemson 45.5 percent they are five of 11. free throw shooting clemson 100 percent they've shot two they've hit two arizona is three of eight for 35 point 37.5 
Arizona's out rebounding Clemson 21 to 16. Clemson has two more assists than Arizona 10 to 8. Uh, steals, your blocks right there, turnovers. Arizona has eight to Clemson's five points in the paint. Exactly the same five for each. Excuse me. That is fast break points and points in the paint. That goes to the Arizona Wildcats, 22 to 14. The largest lead by Clemson has been 13. Now it is eight. All right, bracketology looking like this so far. UConn leading San Diego State 29-21 with 7.45 to go in the first. Illinois and Iowa State play at 10.09 tonight. Carolina plays at 9.39, if I'm not mistaken. Carolina taking on Alabama. And right now, Clemson and Arizona in a duel, in a battle. Tomorrow, Creighton and Tennessee play at 10 p.m. You also have Purdue and Gonzaga at 7.39. NC State and Marquette at 7.09. Uh, I think I'm going to have to check that one out. It's going to be on CBS. And then later on that night at 9.39, Duke takes on number one, Houston. All this... For a chance to get to the Elite Eight. Me too, coach, and all the pundits have been saying the ACC is weak. Yeah, I like I would love that. That's that's the main reason why, you know, like I said, I'm hoping that uh, Clemson wins. Of course, you know, we, we're hoping Carolina wins. Hoping State wins. And uh, I, I, it's a little hard to say, but yeah, hope Duke beats number one, Houston. I'm always going for the underdog unless it's Carolina playing against someone. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that would be great. That would be outstanding. Uh, if, Clemson and, if Clemson and all the ACC teams win, the ACC will have four, yeah, four teams in the Elite, elite Eight. So let's hope... <laughs> You know, let's hope we all let's. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. I'm down for it. Let's go, let's go. But if all else fails, we just gotta hope that Carolina makes it. All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. We'll get this second half started and done.
Tigers all year, you know how big it is. He has no fouls. He'll have five to work with here in the second half. He fouled out of the second round game against Baylor. Ian Ballo have been battling. Ballo's had some big moments. Joe Girard. Well, you know what's been for P.J. Hall? He had to take it. All right, we're back. Place. Testing one, two, testing one, two. Basket. Going over the back for an offensive rebound. So very heading first half by P.J. Joe Girard is a sharpshooter. Clemson would love to get going here. Girard only one attempt. It was a three. Caleb Love is on him. Time to trying to figure out why my background looks funny through my hat. Oh, Keyshawn Johnson coast to coast for the dunk. And here come the Wildcats. Obvious, but it's because the background is blue. I got on my blue hat. And so it's it's washing, washing through the hat. Two points gotten back right there by Chase Hunter. They get it down to Balo. Balo kicks it back out. Boswell turns down the three over the low. Now back to Balo. He's going to turn inside. He does. The drop step. It's beautiful Balo for the lay. Yeah, my, my hat is a little my hat has a little bit of teal green in it. So that's why it's that's why the color looks background is uh showing off a bit like it's a green screen. Yeah, Tigers came out of the halftime with the turnover there. Actually, it was a good defensive play by Arizona. Clark finds Gerard for three. He can't hit it. I missed shot by Arizona. That was Boswell. Now Shefflin brings it down. Hands that to Hunter. Hunter. But the short floater is good. Boswell hits Love up the right side. Now they go in for Balo. Balo is going to draw a foul. And that is the first foul on PJ. Nice toss down there. High low action. Yeah, but Balo able to beat Hall down the court and be able to seal him inside to pick up that foul. Allie LaForce. 43-35, 43-35, second half just started. Tar Hill K, come on, Tigers. He said, be better. And he started laughing, and I said, well, what are some specifics? He said, no, really, there's no specific, no magic to this. Balo has missed four in a row on the free throw line. And P.J. Hall has four more fouls to give. If he has to foul Balo, could be a good foul. Let's see if he can hit this one. Balo misses again. They're online. He's just not getting enough. Uh, he's just not getting enough height on the ball. Gerard is swiped across the face. No foul is called. Shefflin back to Gerard. Gerard. P.J. Hall drives. It's ripped out of his hand. This is Keyshawn Johnson. Finds Larson for a three. It's good. Hey, that's that's as good as a fast break. That's a fast break point right there. Shefflin for three. He's off the mark. Rebound. Johnson gets that to Boswell. Boswell, they go down the Ballo, and the layup is good. And Clemson is struggling trying to keep Arizona off the boards right now. Hunter, take it upon himself, take a quick three. It's no good. 
Here comes Boswell, gives that to Love. Love wants to get into the, to the action, and he does. Layup, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line. Out of the locker room has been all Arizona, ladies and gentlemen. And we have a timeout. My bad. There's your score right there. Got to keep me on my P's and Q's sometime. 43-42. It's been all Arizona out of the locker room. It has been a 4-11 to run. 4 to 11 run. Uh, Clemson had an eight point lead at halftime. Yes, look at you. You're open to experiment. You open your heart. I have a play this So we're looking at uh, Johnson for the for the Wildcats with six points now. Balo has ten; he's ten and eight. That's eight rebounds. Boswell still on three points. Larson has eight. Love has six points now, and a chance to hit seven if he hits this free throw coming back. Uh, the bench, Crevas, still two. Lewis with five, and Bradley with two. And if Arizona can keep this, this first team looking the way they are looking, then when Lewis, Krivas, and Bradley come back into the game and they don't drop anything, they don't lose any offensive, not much offensive power or prowess, uh, Arizona's back on the right track. Clemson has got to keep Got to keep digging at it. It's got to keep going. Stay, hey, stay, stay to what got you here, I guess. Let's see what the fast break basket's looking now. Yeah, see, here's the difference right there. Yeah, Arizona will run. Now Arizona has 12 fast break points to uh, Clemson's five. Some housekeeping here. So they took a look at the Pella Larson three, which was scored as a two. And then adjusted to a three point. So this is tied up, ladies and gentlemen. So 0-0 zero, zero basically. Alright, here we go. The game has started again with 16-19 on the clock. Gerard. Finds Shefflin. Shefflin squares up. Shefflin misses everything. Love's going to be fouled up top. I'm going to call that one on Dylan Hunter. And we have a timeout.
All right, thank you three people who hit the like button. Appreciate you guys doing that. That's what gets the algorithm to push us out there to more individuals. And we're gonna need all the individuals we can get after this game when Carolina plays Alabama. All right, Arizona had a chance to take the lead. Blew the, t uh, blew the layup, and Clemson comes down and gets two out of it. Love kicks out to his homie. Wide open three by Keyshawn Johnson. He misses it some somehow. It finds its way into Caleb Love's hand. He misses the three. He has it back right now. Goes down to Balo. Balo's double team. He spins on the baseline. Keeps it. Reverse layup is no good. And the ref calls a foul. Ain't that was going to be on PJ. And PJ has three fouls. PJ has three fouls where he had none in the first half. Already three now. Will Coach take him out of the game or will he roll with him? <laughs> Balo has not hit a... I don't know if he's hit a free throw all game. This right here is like five in a row. They are all straight ahead and on the front of the rim. Balo, look at the back of the rim, buddy. Put the ball in the back of the rim. It'll go right in for you. Maybe one of his teammates told him. Back in the rim, back in the rim, Balo. There it is. A turnover by Clemson. Result, two points for Caleb Love. And the lead by Arizona. This is Gerard for Clemson with the ball. Skip pass over to Clark for three. Clark hits the three. Clemson fighting, staying in it. They retake the lead by two. Balo turned to go, uh, went to the basket. His defender fell. Still couldn't hit it. Godfrey drives, throws it up. He picks up a foul. And they're going to give that to Keyshawn Johnson. 13.43 on the clock. Clemson has a two-point lead, 48-46. Godfrey at the line. He hit some big ones last week. And he hits his first. Larson comes back into the game for Arizona. Going to be Love. Larson, Boswell, Keyshawn Johnson. And Krivas. Krivas. Right, this is Caleb Love. He's on the March Madness logo. Gives that to Keyshawn. And Love goes to the basket off that screen hard. Draws a foul. He'll be going to the free throw line. 
Three people in the chat. Three people in the chat. What's going on? The three people in the chat. Once again, thank you all for hitting that like button. You three people hit the like button. I thank you. He dropped 28 on Duke in the national semifinal two years ago. Okay, the love. It's his first. His NCAA tournament scoring average just shy of 19 points per game. He was one of the primary targets. Looked like he was headed to Michigan, but his hours didn't transfer, and so all of a sudden Arizona got back in the recruitment of the portal, and Ralph ends up. His love hits two beauties. As a two-point game, Arizona with the press has given Clemson a little trouble. That ball is deflected by Love off of Gerard, but he gathers it. He shoots a long three. Oh my gosh. What a hit. What a shot. <clears throat> Shooter shoot. You give that to Caleb Love, he's going to try to get it right back. Oh, he passed it. Gave it to Keyshawn Johnson. Keyshawn Johnson. So Larson. Love turns down the three. He was picked up. Now he drives. Is that the Larson? There it is. Previs goes for the rebound. Can't get it. Where are you going? Previs back to the other end, trying to help out on Gerard. He fouls him. Love did end up shooting that three. Ooh. Yeah, crossover. 53 48, 12 30 on the clock. This is going to be Clark with the ball for Clemson. Gets it to Shefflin. Shefflin back to Hunter. Turns down the three. Now they go down to Shefflin. Shefflin turns baseline. His little jumper is no good. And a rebound by Balo. It's going to be on Godfrey. Balo's a handful for Clemson down on the block. And now with P.J. Hall on the bench with the three fouls. Brad Brownell, his team has played well without P.J. Hall in this tournament, but Arizona's a little bit different matchup. Well, think about this. Shefflin not shooting the ball like he did on the la in the last game. Still doing a little, a little stuff. This is going to be Caleb Love. Clemson in the zone, the 2 3 zone. They get it down to Keyshawn. Keyshawn finds Balo. He loses it. But Bradley with the rebound had the world fall to attack the glass after it got down low. Clemson still leading 53 48 when we go to timeout. You're not busy, are you? And up. All right, what do you guys think? Can Clemson hang on and pull it out? Will they hang on and pull it out? We'll be the first ACC team to get to the Elite Eight.
five likes five likes thank you guys for hitting that like button All right, it's going to be Bradley to step up and hit both free throws. And a full court press is applied to, to Clemson. They beat it. And what will they do after they beat it? Shefflin still handling the ball. Finally gets it to Hunter. Clemson with a three-point lead. Gerard for three. He's fouled shooting a three. Gerard, who is usually an excellent free throw shooter, misses the first. He misses two in a row. That never happens. <clears throat> Can you say point shaving? I'm joking. I'm joking. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. Man, but Gerard never misses free throws. Let's go. He misses. He hits one out of three. Caleb Love on the right side dribbles back out. Gets that to Lewis. Nice strong drive. Misses the lay. But a foul is going to be called. And it's going to be Lewis at the free throw line. And that, that seemed a little bit late to me, but it was called nevertheless. One vote for the uh, for the for the poll question. Yeah, he, he's a he's a senior. And so I don't I I, I don't know if he has a COVID year or not. All right, the pressure is broken. Clark straight to the basket, draws a foul on Dalo, Valo. He's definitely a senior. I don't know if he's got one more because of COVID or, or whatever. But he's definitely been around four years. You know, they get, get that, that fifth one. I think he's gone regardless. All right, it's Clark. He hits his free throw. Jack Clark. Started at LaSalle at NC State, Pennsylvania native. And he hits two of them. Four point lead by Clemson. 11 11 on the clock. Three people in the chat. Five, hit that light button. Caleb Love for three, can't hit it. Rebound. Hunter gets it to Gerard. Gerard on the left side. Gerard got his head up. He shoots a three. Can't hit it. Rebound. Clemson. This is going to be Chase Hunter with the ball. He comes off the screen, kicks it back. They get it down to Shefflin. Shefflin. Skip pass over to Hunter for three. Off the mark, but another rebound by Clemson. They set up the play. This time Hunter goes to the basket, finds Godfrey, turns down the three again. Drawn to the basket is blocked by Diop, by Balo. Bradley, 
Bradley attacks the basket. He's fouled by Godfrey. And Bradley will go back to the line. That's all I was saying. Uh, Bradley, since he's come off the bench, I'm pretty sure he was on the bench. That was a good block by Balo. He has he has added some in uh, some energy to uh, Arizona's game. Yeah, I think uh, I think Caleb Love is. Even if he has another year, I think he's gone. Especially if they end up winning the uh, the the, a, the NCAA tournament, he's definitely gone. All right, both free throws are hit. It's back to a two-point lead by Clemson. Hall is going to be blocked. Arizona, coast to coast. That's Bradley. I tell you, that guy has brought some energy off the pine. Bradley also got the block and ends up on the free throw line on the other end. Bradley is hitting every one of his free throws. And here comes that press. It's a 1 2 2. They let Shefflin get deep. He picks up his dribble. Finds PJ Hall. PJ Hall is able to score. Ties it up. Excuse me. It was tied. Clemson goes up too. Boswell for three. Can't hit it. Rebound PJ Hall. Shefflin for three. Makes it off the glass. Whatever is whatever. As long as it goes in. Clemson can't stop fouling. Favorite horse shots, really off the glass from the front. Not many people have the touch like the chef to be able to convert on that. So that's, that's nice the way you turn that around. You like that? The whole band wearing these chef hats had started. There was a there was an intramural team called the Ian Shefflin Fan Club. It's a legit intramural team of Clemson. They just started breaking out the chef hats, and now. Bradley is showing you how and why free throws are important and can keep you in games. Full court pressure. Clemson beats it. Now Arizona's back in the man to man. DJ Hall trying to get it to Shefflin. He's not there. Picks up his dribble. 
Now he's got to get it down. Fine, Shefflin, Shefflin. Eight seconds on the clock. Shoots. Rolls in for him. Clemson just trying to keep a lead, and that's it. That's all you need. Keep the lead. That's all you need. Lewis kicks it. Bradley. The kid that has been keeping Clemson, excuse me, keeping Arizona in it, steps on the line, out of bounds line that time. This ball is going to Clemson after the timeout. All right, we got two, two votes. Will Clemson hang on and beat Arizona? This thing has gotten close. Shefflin, they're talking about the Shefflin fan club. Shefflin with 14 points. Actually, he and Hunter both have 14 points to lead the Tigers offensively. Clark with seven. P.J. Hall has nine. He has five rebounds. So does Shefflin. Uh, but Shefflin and P.J. Hall both have three fouls with seven minutes and 58 seconds left in this game. Gerard with four points, had none at the beginning of the second half. He does have five assists. Godfrey with seven points. Wiggins off the bench with eight. That's 15 important points off the bench for Clemson. The Wildcats have come alive in the second half. Johnson, that's Keyshawn Johnson, with six points. He has eight rebounds, three assists. Balo, actually Balo and Love both have 11. Balo with 11 and 11 rebounds. He has that double-double. Boswell, three points. He hit that at the beginning of the game. Larson with eight off the bench. Crevis, two points, three rebounds. Lewis, seven points. And Bradley, who has been doing it up, for the Arizona Wildcats has 10 points seems like he has more a lot of his points are coming from the free throw line he is eight of nine from the free throw line didn't mean to uh, rhyme but hey that that's that's how it is that young man has two blocks he has three assists for grabs here, ACC commissioner, former AD at Northwestern. Four rebounds. He's been everywhere. He's rocking about five ties. He's got his Clemson orange on right now. ACC had five teams in the tournament, four of them advancing to the Sweet 16, two of them here in this regional in L.A., North Carolina and Clemson. North Carolina and Alabama will be next. A long time for the Tigers. All right, with 20 seconds on the clock, Clemson with the ball. Just Shefflin. Finds a wide open P.J. Hall cutting to the basket. Somebody lost their assignment. P.J. Hall was wide open, and that's two more points for Clemson. 7.31 on the clock. Love for three. Can't hit it. Rebound, Shefflin. Gerard for three. Can't hit it. Follow with the rebound. Another three from Boswell. He can't hit it. Rebound, Shefflin. No pressure. They're walking up the court. That's Clemson. They need to score right here. Shefflin with the ball way beyond the three-point line. He finds P.J. 
Gerard back to Shefflin. Shefflin doesn't want to shoot it. Skip pass over to Dylan Hunter. Dylan Hunter can't hit it, but P.J. Hall is going to be fouled going for the rebound. It's going to be on Balo. Man, it's been a long time, buddy. Let's go, Clemson. I don't know what I don't know which Carolina team is going to come out on the floor tonight, but hey, maybe we can get one one ACC team in there early. Shefflin back in the smaller Larson down turns around misses everything but a rebound back to PJ he can't hit another rebound Hunter can't hit it see this is what I'm talking about guys that shot was so wide open why not attack the basket why not attack the basket make Arizona one of those guys come to play defense on you and drop it down to somebody and get an easy lay or easier shot. But they were wide open threes. Shefflin can't find anybody to pass to. Finally finds Hall. Screen set. Gerard wanting to shoot it. Bad pass. And it's going to be lost out of bounds to Arizona. Bad communication or passing over there in that corner. So this one is turned over. So we have another timeout, 542 on the clock, 542, three people have voted. And there's no need to hang on to these timeouts. You might as well go ahead and call them. Whoever loses goes home. In all the games, ladies and gentlemen. That ball to Lewis, almost a point blank shot, misses the lay. Clemson still leading. TJ can't hit it. Rebound, Keyshawn Johnson. Arizona will score this time. Skip pass. Bradley to the basket, can't hit the lay. Rebound, P.J. Hall, and a foul is going to be called. And that's going to be called on Bradley. Misses that lay and the frustration foul, basically. This is the key. Don't settle for jump shots. If you're going to go small, drive the ball. Now you got to finish, and the advantage, too, is that you're in the penalty and you get to the line. This one's got to find a way to, to score. When you want to... Arizona's having some uh, empty possessions, but uh, Clemson's not scoring. P.J. Hall misses a free throw. 
65-58. This is Caleb Love. He's on the March Madness logo. Goes to his right. Picked up by Gerard. Hands it back to Caleb Love. That's going to be Bradley. Keyshawn for three. Can't hit it. Caleb Love, Johnny on the spot with the rebound. They get it to Larson. Larson back out. Another three by Bradley. This time it goes. That play right there started by Caleb Love coming back for the rebound. Hall a little bit out of control. And a foul going to be called on Bradley. Yeah, he reached over top. Wasn't for that, he'd be okay. 4.06 on the clock. 4.06 on the clock. Clemson has got to hit all their free throws. Chase Hunter will shoot the free throws. He's actually from the line. 85% free throw shooter. Another one here. UConn leading San Diego State 55-39. Hunter hits his first free throw. There's no competition for these lovable imaginary friends. You have to believe it to see it. If is exclusively in theaters everywhere. We got three votes so far. Will Clemson hang on and beat Arizona? Yes or no? And if they keep shooting free throws like this, the answer is going to be no. Hunter misses a free throw. Hey, my team does the same thing. We'll see it up next. Caleb Love shoots another three. This is off. Rebound. Johnson. Bradley shoots a three. Can't hit it. Rebound. This is going to be... Godfrey. Exactly. This is oh a turnover. Bad pass by PJ. And guess who? That's right, Bradley. For two on the other end. It's a three-point lead. Can't be lack of days go with the ball with your passing. 317 on the clock. Shefflin gets at the PJ Hall. This is gonna be Hunter. He pulls up for three, misses. Rebound, Keyshawn Johnson. They get it to Love, Love, down the court. Keyshawn kicks it, Bradley, free throw line, almost loses it. 18 seconds on the clock, Larson to his right. He pulls up for three, off the mark. He saves it. And that ball is Clemson's claim. And Hunter brings it across the timeline. This is Dylan Hunter. Still has the ball. Screen set. He gets it to Shefflin. They go into P.J. Hall. P.J. Hall is fouled. And Bradley is incredulous. say that your, the ball is part your hand is part of the ball and I was looking to see if he got him on the on the wrist and I, I didn't see it but the ref called a foul so PJ is going to be on the line four votes will the Tigers hang on to win this game it's a close one
BP23, no problem. <clears throat> All right, we got Shefflin with 14. Clark with 7. PJ Hall, 11 points. Hunter, 15. Gerard with 4. And off the bench, Godfrey with 7. And Wiggins with 8. For the Arizona Wildcats, Keyshawn Johnson, 6 points. Balo with 11. Boswell has 3. Larson with 8. Love has 11 points. Krebus, 3. Lewis, 7. And Bradley with 15 points to lead all scorers for the Wildcats and tie the top scorer for Clemson, which is Hunter. Or who is Hunter? Field goal shooting. Clemson, 45.5. They're a little bit down uh, from their 50-plus. Arizona, 33.9. Not shooting the ball exceptionally well tonight. They are out-rebounding Clemson, 43-35. to 35. Turnovers. Now Clemson with 10 and Arizona with 6. It is a three-point ball game. Should have looked at the free throw situation. E.J. Hall hits his first. Can he hit two in a row? Free throw shooting in the nation this year. And they're up four. They pushed it to a two-possession game. Again, Clemson holding their opponent to subpar three-point shooting numbers. Including tonight. And he does. Shooting just 18% from beyond the arc. But also two, which is a key down the stretch of this game. All right, this is Caleb Love with the ball. He swings it back over to Bradley. Bradley to Larson. They go into Balo. Too easy. The lob over the top. And P.J., that's what the commentators are saying. P.J. definitely did not want to pick up that foul. So he'll probably be going back down to him next time down. But Clemson needs to score. This is Shefflin with the ball being guarded by Balo. Oh, nice cut by P.J. And a nice pass by Shefflin, the high-low. Two points. They go back down to Balo. Another score. Trading baskets. It's a three-point ball game. One, 22 on the clock. 70, 67. Clemson. They get it to Shefflin. Shefflin trying to find PJ. Forces it in there. And coach calls a timeout. Hey, I've done that before. And <laughs> I've done that before. And I tell you what, I think about it all the time. Because after I called the timeout, with pro, uh, I, we were in the, I, what do you call it, semifinals. A middle school team, semifinals. Called that timeout because the ball got stuck. I didn't want a five-second call. And that gave the other coach time enough to tell his team, hey, let's foul. Because as soon as I called that timeout, as soon as I got it, we swung, we got the ball out of the little trap they had. And so we could have just, we could have held the ball. We could have, you know, regardless of whatever we did, the other coach wouldn't have had time to talk to his players and say, hey, foul and make sure you foul this kid right here. Because our kid missed the free throw. They came down, hit a three, tied it up. We went into overtime and they ended up beating us. My fault. All right, Clemson has nine seconds to score. Oh, another 
broken play defensively by Arizona. That is three easy layups on the out of bounds pass on the out of bounds play for Clemson. It's just so easy. I'm going to have to rewind this game and look and see what are they doing. Wow, just, yeah, just setting high screens and the defense is not communicating. Three times they've done it, and it's been three easy dunks for Clemson. That is six points unaccounted for. And not like me. <laughs> Coach knows what he's doing, calls that timeout, and sets up a beautiful out-of-bounds play. Had to know that ball is going to be taken out under the basket. And since Clemson has been killing them with the out-of-bounds play, Yo, 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 I got it, I got it. We're going to get this timeout and get this easy two-point play, and Coach does it again. I'm still learning. That's why they. That's why those coaches make the big bucks. Seven votes. Seven votes. It's 72-67. Clemson. But still, 57 the seconds on the clock. But you still got to play the game. Now, we got a lot of time. Minute left. Still only a two-possession game. Arizona ball here. The trio of Love, Larson, and Boswell combining two for two. Free throw shooting. Arizona, 68%. They're 17 to 25. Clemson, 71. 10 for 14. All right, it's going to be Larson with the ball. Bradley shoots a three, hits it for Arizona. And another timeout. It's a two-point game. When the others cannot make a three-pointer, the Alabama transfer delivers. Bradley, Bradley has been the man for Arizona tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And he might pull them through. Hey guys, I, I've got the, uh, the the poll question down there covering up some of your uh, some of your comments. Yeah, no problem there, uh, BP23. You too, uh, Tar Heel K. Oh, my coaching background. I played college uh, ball back in the day. Nope, I didn't play college ball. I did play a little college football at North Carolina A&T. And, and uh, when I graduated, I, I, I became a teacher. Yeah, I, I became a teacher, and uh, they let me coach. So... I definitely started out coaching football. Loved that in middle school. And I, I, I you know, had a chance to be a high school teacher or a high school coach, but just loved middle school. And so that's what I've coached my whole life, middle school. But I've coached middle school football, middle school basketball, middle school uh, track, middle school volleyball. So <laughs> for 30, 33 years. Hunter layup is good and he's fouled on the play. 25.7 seconds on the clock. Hunter looks in the in the stands and says, "I'm that guy." Nice spin with the left. And he did get fouled. And the ACC boys are happy on the on the bench. Can they pull it off? Chase hits his free throw. No timeout. 25 seconds on the clock. Larson, they get it to Love. Love. All right, is he going to force it? 
Floater is good for Love. Clemson, you got to get the ball in. They get it into Gerard. Gerard has an open. And who is that? <laughs> the other Hunter brother. That's Dylan. Releases down the court. Gerard dribbling with his head up. Let it go. Dylan hits the layup and he's fouled. Dylan Hunter with his first basket of the game. And he was definitely fouled. And it could be a finisher for the Clemson Tigers. That's why you always drew with your head up, young guys. See the whole court. Clemson off the line. Getting ready for defense. Illy can't hit the free throw. Bradley says, yo, I'm going to take this. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Clemson moves on to the Elite Eight. Hey, I truly hope Carolina wins, but at least there's one ACC team into the Elite Eight. And the ACC is the weakest conference. Ain't that right, Tar Heel K? That's what the, like you said, that's what the pundit says. <laughs> that's what every, everybody that knows what they're talking about says. Like, hey, when it comes right down to it, you got to play the game. Just like this next game, ladies and gentlemen, this is number, this was number six against number two. Our next game, number four against number one. You might as well say number one against number one. All right. Hopefully Carolina can win. We don't know which team is going to show up for Carolina. I mean, just to be, just to, just to say, tell the truth, this is my team. But you know, if everybody's ready to play for for uh, Carolina, we can beat number four Alabama. But it's got to be done on the floor. Clemson, if you ask me, they control this game from beginning to end. And they deserve to win. So, I am going to get ready to get out of here <clears throat> and switch over to uh, to my Carolina stream. Uh, congratulations to Clemson. Uh, last time they were in the Elite Eight, I think they said it was 1980. I was still in high school. In fact, I was a sophomore <laughs> in high school. Didn't know it had been that long. All right. So, number one, I want to thank everyone for showing up for this stream. Hey, see if you can meet me in the next one. Uh, I do want to go right here and see how many likes we got. We end up with six likes. I appreciate it. That's what they said, Tari, okay? All right, so I'm getting ready to get out of here, and I'll see you guys in a minute.